Let's head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hi, this is Rico. I was thinking about the preseason games. I know they're meaningless games, and you don't want to see your key players get hurt, but I'm just wondering why Stefanski refuses to play Watson any snaps until the third preseason game. If there's a team that you want to follow how they do things, it's the Chiefs. I saw Patrick Mahomes, their all-world quarterback, play in the very first preseason game. Now, just because Watson plays one preseason game or two preseason games doesn't guarantee success, doesn't guarantee a Super Bowl. But if you're going to follow any team's recipe, I think it would be the Chiefs. My question is, why does the fans refuse to give Watson any meaningful snaps until the third game? He definitely needs to get out there. I understand they're probably concerned with his shoulder, and he's probably not quite ready. But even when he was healthy, and since the fans he's been here, he refused to give his starting quarterback any snaps until the final preseason game. Thanks. Go around. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Fred, I, again, I... I understand both sides of the argument. Um, I, I think Sean Watson does need preseason snaps. I would be concerned. It's a risk-reward thing. If you don't have Jack Conklin, you don't have Jed Wills, I don't know that I want him you know, taking hits. I, I know he's going to eventually have to, but I, the offensive line, I think, factored into it this particular uh, year. Yeah, only two starters you had. The center and the guard, you had Ethan Posick and Wyatt Teller were the only two, you know, that were able to play in that game the other night. And so it does factor in. It is it is the question, but as you can see, he answered the question himself. Kevin Stefanski chooses to take a chance and go into the season healthy as opposed to take any risk of losing, you know, a, a player, especially starting quarterback. And also with Watson said he's, you know, been managed very strict. So I'm pretty much of the opinion that they scripted this out back when they when they put together the rehab plan because the other one of the last practices in Greenbrier, towards the end of practice, Watson quit throwing and there was some speculation by a couple members of the media that he must be hurt or something. Well, I'm pretty much sure after hearing his explanation, when he hits a number, yep. he's done. And that probably is what happened down there. And so I think that's still the script. I don't know if Mahomes, how much he played in the first game. I don't know if he played in the second game. I didn't really follow him. But I'd almost think you're better off playing in the last one as opposed to the first one if you're not going to play anymore. But I agree, he needs he needs reps. He's a notorious slow starter. I mean, last year against the Bengals, they won, but he was he was kind of off to a lethargic start. Um, and so, I, I don't know. Kevin Stefanski, this is how he's done it, and he prefers to have the rest for, and take his chance with the rust. Yeah, you know, you mentioned the thing at the Greenbrier where he, he stopped throwing. He did address that earlier in that um, podcast. So what happened is – it was a, a period where you can, it's like a betterment. I forget the exact term he used. It's an option area where you, you didn't have to do it. He wasn't supposed to be involved with it. He went to throw it and realized it and, and kind of stopped throwing in the middle of it because he had hit his total. So he did address that, and, and that's kind of what happened, um, as you had thought.